Exercise Red Dagger is a bilateral exchange between the United States Marine Corps Reserve and between 131 Commando Unit. We share best practices uh, between the British unit and our unit uh, so that we can get better combat engineers out of the process. There's been a, a, a range of different activities which they've, uh, they've, they've, they've learned and developed over the last two weeks. The bottom line is interoperability is the way forward. It's the way we're going to be operating in the future. So this is really the, the future of our, of our training. The land navigation is employed by the British commando units tend to focus more on orienteering. So uh, they move very quickly over the terrain and, and they will tend to shoot from terrain feature to terrain feature um, as opposed to maybe navigating specific azimuths like we tend to do. The Royal Marines use an obstacle course that's quite a bit longer than ours, uh, a lot more distance between obstacles. Uh, more use of water obstacles, obviously our obstacle course doesn't have any. Uh, their obstacle course is just one, one test of many tests in order for them to earn the commando qualification. The British units and the Royal Marines have a group called Mountain Leaders that are highly trained in mountain warfare, so they came in and gave us a one-day training package on basically ascending and descending uh, sheer cliffs and just very difficult mountainous terrain. Your next straight as you come over. Straight. utilizing steel I-beams and uh, wood planking. We built a non-standard bridge. Following the construction of the bridge, we were actually able to go down to demo range uh, and place the bridge and detonate it. The detonation was successful. They completely destroyed it. So one of the things we were trying to accomplish in this training period was to take them back to uh, basic MOS skills, um, but also basic marine skills. So we set some time up in the schedule in order to do platoon and company level attacks. It's been about a three day package. Uh, so we've been assaulting essentially urban objectives in addition to doing uh, reconnaissance patrols, moving to contact patrols. In this day and age, being able to fight with uh, different forces and allies is key for modern battles and a chance to work with the Americans and get used to using different skills and working together is really important, I think. This is an exercise that definitely needs to be continued because there's so much value with learning from the Royal Engineers and how they do things and uh, they're such a professional organization that anytime we can get our junior marines to interact with them, uh, there's always going to be value. Uh, I really enjoy working with the Americans, all of them have got really good characters and uh, it's been fantastic to see them develop themselves over the last two weeks. But hopefully this uh, relationship continues in the future because it's a brilliant opportunity.